Our university campus, like many campuses, is covered with buildings and sidewalks. There may be some yard on one side, there are some buildings, and there are some buildings on the other side, and these buildings are connected via sidewalks to one another. Those sidewalks may crisscross across the yard, they may go about in some funny ways, but whatever the case, we have buildings that are connected by these sidewalks. Now, if you are like Euler, you may be interested in this question of, is it possible to walk some path, or better yet, a loop, a circuit, that crosses over each sidewalk exactly once? To do this, remember you calculate the degrees of each vertex, two, four, three, four, and three, and then you notice that since there are two vertices of odd degrees, you can begin at one of those vertices and travel along a path that hits each sidewalk exactly once, terminating at the other vertex. This is called an Eulerian path. If all of the degrees were even, then there exists a closed circuit that hits all of the vertices exactly, all the edges exactly once. This is called an Eulerian circuit. But you may be interested in a slightly different question. Instead of seeing if you can traverse each edge exactly once, you may want to know, can we visit each building exactly once? Is there some loop that we can go on so that we begin at one of the buildings, travel around the campus in a loop, visiting each other building exactly once? This is called, instead of a Eulerian circuit, it's called a Hamiltonian circuit. So a Hamiltonian circuit is a circuit that hits each vertex once. Unlike Euler's theorem that says just calculate the degrees in an Eulerian path or circuit exists if and only if the degrees satisfy some condition, we don't have a nice if and only if condition for the existence of a Hamiltonian circuit. In fact, it's been shown that in general, it's computationally difficult to find Hamiltonian circuits for large graphs. However, there are some simple tests that can help us to find some cases where they exist. One of those tests is called Orr's theorem. Dating from 1960, Orr's theorem says, if you have some graph that has n vertices, then if it's always the case for non-adjacent vertices, if for all non-adjacent, that is vertices that do not share an edge between them, if for non all non-adjacent u and v, you have that the degree of u plus the degree of v is bigger than or equal to n, that will guarantee the existence of a Hamiltonian circuit. Let's look at this example. If you look at any two non-adjacent vertices, for instance, this two and this three, since it sums to five, the sum of any two non-adjacent vertices always gives you five, you will have the existence of a Hamiltonian circuit. And sure enough, you can stop and you can think about such a way that you would travel along this graph such that you hit each vertex exactly once. But Orr's theorem doesn't go both directions. That is, the converse of the theorem is false. There might exist a Hamiltonian circuit even when we don't satisfy these conditions. For instance, consider this graph. The cycle. Clearly there's a Hamiltonian circuit. Just travel around it. But if you calculate 
the degree of the vertices, it's always two. So the sum of the degree of two non-adjacent vertices is only four, which is less than five. Our two plus our two is less than the total number of vertices. So we don't meet the condition of Ohr's theorem. We say that this condition is a sufficient condition, but it's not a necessary condition to have a Hamiltonian circuit. Let's look at one more example. Here we'll have three buildings on one side of a yard, two buildings on the other side, but they'll be connected in a funny way. So that buildings on the same side are never attached together. They're only connected via an edge to those buildings on the other side of the yard. Does there exist a Hamiltonian circuit? Again, we don't satisfy the sufficient condition of Ohr's theorem because you can look at these two vertices, each has degree two, so again, two plus two is less than five, and we don't meet this condition. So we may need a more clever argument. You maybe play around a little while. Is there a way that I can visit each vertex exactly once and then come back and make a circuit, closing it into a loop? It doesn't seem like it. How can we see this? One way to see this is to color the vertices. We'll color them on one side pink and those vertices on the other side blue. Then notice something. If you begin at a pink vertex, your next move will have to be to a blue vertex because none of the pink are connected to any of the other pinks. So from pink, we'll have to travel to a blue. But then once you add a blue, either one, you'll have to travel back to one of the pinks since none of the blues are attached to each other. So from blue, we'll have to go from pink to pink. And then from that pink, we'll have to go to blue. And then from that blue, we'll have to go back to a pink. Well, that will let you hit all the pinks and all the blues. But in order to make it a circuit, we then want to travel from this last pink back to the first pink. But there's no way to go from a pink vertex to a pink vertex. So we're stuck. You start off at one pink vertex, then you go pink to blue, pink to blue, to pink, but there's no way to get back to the starting vertex. So this would be a non-Hamiltonian graph. There does not exist a Hamiltonian circuit. You might feel that seeing if there's a Hamiltonian circuit or not is a bit like a puzzle. There are some conditions that can help us, but there, in general, there's not an easy if and only if test. So sometimes you have to play around and figure out if there's a Hamiltonian circuit or not.